Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be one of the first little tutorials that I do. Um, it is over the Goodreads website. One reason I like Goodreads is there's also a little handy app that works uh, and it, you can do things such as scan the book cover and it will automatically add that book. But it's a really good way um, to have a virtual bookshelf and it helps you keep up with what you're reading or what you're not reading. Um, if you'll look right here, this up here in the right hand corner, you can tell this is my profile. Um, and if you go to my profile, you can add friends, you can have discussions, reading challenges, etc. Um, but one thing, I just finished this book, The Geography of Lost Things. I'm also going to book talk this book at the end of this real fast. But Geography of Lost Things is the most recent book I read. Um, I am going to change that to red. It's on currently reading right now. But if I click right here, I can click red. It changes. It gives you the option to rate the book, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm actually going to just post that it's been read. And now it's on my bookshelf. So if you go up here to my books, here are the books that I am currently reading. Um, that is Hot Dog Girl by Jennifer Dugan. Um, then my Want to Read, 231 books. Sometimes I just browse through Goodreads till I find some books that I want to add to my list. That also helps me build my library at school. Um, books that I think might be, might be books that you guys like. So these are my most recently read. I try really hard to upload, uplo update this as I'm reading. Sometimes I'll miss one and I'll be like, oh, I read that book. So I have to go back and do that. Um, but the most recent book is The Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. And I'm going to tell you about this book. It is um, a new book. It was, it was new to our library. It was published in October of 2018. Um, but this book is about a girl um, named Allie. And Allie is, lives with her mom, single mom. Um, they have it rough. Lots of things aren't going right um, in their life. They are constantly um, struggling to make, make ends meet. And they live very much paycheck to paycheck. And this is a book about a road, road trip. And I love books about road trips um, just because that's something I like. Um, but this book, Allie um, finds out that her dad, who has kind of flitted in and out of her life for the last several years, has passed away. And he leaves her one thing, and that is a 1968 Firebird convertible. Um, she does not plan on keeping it. She plans on selling it because she has done some research and finds out that this is a very rare car. And if she can save this car for the amount that it's worth, it will save their house. The problem is she has to drive it. They live in California and she has to drive the car several hours south of where they live. But the car's a standard and she can't drive a standard. So she's doing all this and she's trying to keep it a secret from her mom. So she enlists the help of her ex-boyfriend, Nico. And Nico um, has his own kind of secrets and things are going bad in his life. Um, but Nico doesn't want her to sell the car. He says, you should keep this car. It's a part of your history. It's a part of um, your life. So I guarantee you that we can make $25,000 because that's what it's going to cost for her to save her house. I can, we can do that in a week. And she's like, you're crazy. Not happening. So he decides they're going to trade up. And by trading up, he's going to uh, post objects on Craigslist. Since they're road tripping anyway, they can go wherever they need. And they start with a rubber band from a photographer they met on a beach in California. And he end up with um, Seattle Seahawket, Seahawks season tickets. Um, all kinds of things happen in this trip. Um, but the geography of lost things is really, really a good, good book um, about finding out who you are and finding out who is there for you. So I recommend you read this and I will see you all soon. Have a great day. Go Wildcats.